This is tutorial five, question one. Uh, in your textbook, you can find it on page 136, example 4.4. So in this question, we're going to be looking at the application of the Bernoulli principles. Um, and this particular question, we have a tank which has an exit at the bottom or a drain port uh, at point two. The height of the fluid, which is water in this case, um, above that exit port is 10 meters. So what we're asked to do here is to find the velocity of the liquid at the drain port 2. So Bernoulli's equation is essentially a way of um, equating the, um, the energy in different forms, in different positions in a system. So you have energy due to the head, um, the, due to height, and you also have energy due to pressure, and you have energy due to velocity. And in a, in a system, you can equate those three items together in two different positions and uh, work out what the change in one of them is because the total energy in the system has to remain a constant. That is the basic principle of Bernoulli. All right, so let's see if we can approach this, this problem. So in this problem, we're going to be using the head form of the Bernoulli equation. And if we write that out, that would be P1 over gamma plus V1 squared over 2G plus Z1 is equal to P2 over gamma plus V2 squared over 2G plus Z2. So term 1 would be pressure plus velocity plus um, height. So you can see those are the three energy terms that we are equating to one another. All right, so now we're going to do what we call term by term analysis. All right, so looking at this tank, <clears throat> we have P1 equals P2 is equal to zero kilopascal. What do we mean by that? We are assuming that atmospheric pressure um, is constant at uh, point 0.1 and point 0.2, and we're con calculating this problem using gauge pressure, so therefore that pressure would be the same, and we can assume it to be zero. So we're using atmospheric pressure as our reference. Let's just put gauge in brackets. All right. Now, then we can say let V1 equals zero <clears throat> because the, um, the size of the tank is very large compared to the diameter of the exit. So at point zero, we can assume that it's not moving, although technically it is lowering the tank very slowly, but at this instant we can assume that it is zero. Because that velocity is very small. And then thirdly, let Z1 equals 10 meters and Z2 equal to zero meters. So we're gonna use point two as a reference Make that zero and we can make point 0.1 10 meters. So now we have our terms and we can uh, substitute those into our formula. So we have all the terms for P from the, from the first position, P1 over gamma. There's our equation. So let's have a look at that. P1 is equal to zero. So, so that's zero. V2, V1 squared over 2G, and we said that V1 is equal to zero, okay, plus Z1, and Z1 is 10 meters, <clears throat> right, so we've got 10, and that must be equal to P2, we also said is zero, because it's atmospheric, 
we then have v2 squared over 2g and the third term is z and we said z2 is equal to 0 because that's the reference point. So now we end up with a Bernoulli equation simplified. So we've got 10 is equal to v2 squared over 2g. So making v2 the sub subject of the formula we can say that is equal to the square root of 2 times 9,81 g times 10. Or v2 is equal to 14 meters per second.